AR-15, the SP-1, 20 round mags, as original as it gets. Let's have some fun here. Welcome to This Old Gun. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. Today we're going to be looking at a Colt AR-15 SP-1. This is one of the original AR-15s. This is where Colt started it all with the AR-15. So originally this gun was developed by Eugene Stoner in the 50s, I want to say, and the patent was given to Armalite. And then Armalite, due to lack of manpower and production issues, sold their patents to Colt in 1959. And Colt turned around and in 1964 produced this semi-automatic version of the M16. The idea was that these would be perfect rifles for semi-automatic civilian model firearms for sporting purposes, target, even hunting, as much as people like to say AR-15s aren't used for hunting, especially around the, the uh, Midwest areas, AR-15s are very prominent in hunting, very, very prominent in hunting. They're very accurate, and they're just all around reliable guns. And this is basically one of the first model AR-15s. This was the very first configuration, as basically as Eugene Stoner designed it. The barrel length on this is 20 inches, which is originally how Eugene Stoner designed the gun. It was the best length in terms of accuracy, reliability for this gun. So Colt came out and released these types of guns in 1964 after the M16, and they took off for the most part, but um, these guns, as they continued to develop over the years, didn't really get popular until 1994, and we all know what happened then, the Federal Assault Weapons Ban. So the AR-15 saw a lot of changes from that point forward up until 2004, because they had to make them compliant. So you had a lot of these stocks were popular, you had featureless barrels with no flash suppressors or a compensator. But this is a fine example of a very collectible pre ban firearm because this was the original adaptation. This is the original configuration of the AR-15. So these guns, especially AR-15s, are fun to shoot, especially in this configuration for me. So I'm going to go out to the range with a couple of 20-rounders and we're going to have some fun. The SP-1, the one that started it all, back when instead of using a forward assist to get something out of there, you just got it out of there, if you know what I mean. Let's have some fun here. bad gun. This was the basically the first rendition of the AR-15. This is originally how Eugene Stoner designed the AR-15. There was no, uh, they were 223, chambered in 223, so you've got a pencil nose barrel, and there's no forward assist on this gun at all. Um, a very argued about idea in the gun community, especially as of recent. Um, these guns are fun though. This, <clears throat> um, this gun is got, has got a 20 inch barrel on it, which was originally how it was designed. You know, you've got 16 and a half inch barrels now and pistol caliber, uh, 10 and a half inch pistol barrels now. They're cool, but they're not how the gun was designed optimally. As they say, God and Eugene Stoner came together and built this gun and the optimal barrel for it was 20 inches. So there you go. 
when Cole originally released these rifles back in 64, they actually only came with five round magazines, if you can believe it. And then later on, you add the options for 20 rounders and then 30 rounders and things like that. But this is basically what you might have seen, for example, in Vietnam. And in Vietnam, you had the M16s, which at first the soldiers weren't too keen on. First of all, you know, it's a very lightweight, plasticky rifle, not necessarily the heavy weight of the M14. The 223 round to them was small and seemingly ineffective. They're used to 30 odd six, followed by 308 out of the M14. So at first, the soldiers didn't really like this rifle. It was also the very first prototypes of this gun weren't necessarily the most reliable. But as it caught on, I mean, as it caught on and changes were made based upon field tests, this rifle really took off, not only in the military, but in the civilian market. Before the federal assault weapons ban, there were only in the hundreds of thousands of these that were in circulation. But once the ban sunsetted in 04, there were literally millions of these rifles in circulation. So it's not often that we get a Colt SP-1 at Cape Gunworks. I've only seen a few of them come in. So please come on down and check out this rifle. It is for sale. I'd love to show it to you guys. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. I'll see you around.